You guys wondering what's inside this pantry? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what's in there? <laughs> For your quick fire challenge, we want you to create a dish that evokes a food memory for you. But we want you to elevate it, and we want you to do it using Campbell's soup. You have 30 minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. Good luck. In Oregon, we're always eating chanterelles. Chanterelles on anything, everything, all things. Sounds really good. You okay, Chef? I had to switch my plan. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it sucks. Okay. They don't have collard greens. I'm gonna do a Swiss chard gratin. Oh, you chat one. Yeah. I am using the cream of mushroom. Uh, diluted it, added bonito flakes. Chamushi was a dish that my mom made. She cooked every single day of our lives when we were growing up. I think that's kind of a big inspiration of why I became a cook. I'm making a crudo salsa. And I'm making a chile morita. Tomato. It's inspired by the first dish I ever cooked my wife, and uh, hopefully I do justice to our first date. Nice. I'm doing a tomato ginger seafood boil. Over at Nelson Station, he's doing something similar with cod. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm gonna do a braise of fish and cabbage in a tomato broth. Game on. What are you making? Uh, it's gonna be chicken toast masala, so like shrimp toast and chicken tikka masala. Oh, I like combined. that. Combined. Get that masala in there. I'm making a smoked mushroom stroganoff with spots left. Smells good. It's a little bit more elevated than grandma foods, like grandma chic. <laughs> 16 minutes, chefs. 30 minutes goes fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is this reminding you of? My mom. It's a play on the cream of mushroom chicken that we have a lot. That sounds good. Back, very hot, very hot, life-changing hot. Steak and mushrooms. Yeah. Nice. So I'm doing a like grilled cheese panzanella salad with a tomato vinaigrette. Grilled cheese and tomato soup are both one of those comfort foods for me. You know, my wife and I are very easy going. Do you feed your daughter? Oh, okay. hell no. <laughs> she just started her teeth growing now. My wife is my rock and we have an eight month old daughter and she is the light of my world. One minute, gentlemen and right ladies. Here. One minute, hurt. Hot, coming through. Three, two, one. Time's up. Gabe, please come up. Thank you. I made a dish inspired by a cabbage and tomato seafood stew that I had in Mexico. Cod that's been braised in charred cabbage with a uh, spicy sofrito. Where did you originally have this dish in Mexico? In Tabasco. I prepared a prima mushroom chawamushi with a crab salad right on top. Did you mean for the chawamushi to be this loose? Yeah, I like it pretty loose. Not really. <laughs> Here you go, Dan. What I made for you today is a chicken and rice fritter with a mushroom and garlic uh, sauce at the bottom. When we eat uh, dinner together on Sundays, we always have cream of mushroom and chicken. Is that chicken skin? It's a crispy chicken skin, yes. Nice touch. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Uh -huh. I made a Vietnamese shrimp tomato soup during the shutdown. Just one of those things that I automatically went to when I was stressed out. I made a smoked mushroom stroganoff with spetsla. For me, that's comfort food. I smoked the mushrooms to get that meaty flavor. That's a deal. Thank you. Hi. So I made a everyday Thanksgiving. The chicken has been lightly grilled and poached. Bread pudding has cream of mushroom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nelson, please tell us about this dish. A trip I took to Mexico City, had a delicious cod. It's one of the best dishes I ever had. So I did a seared cod with apple with smoked bacon and tomato ginger sauce. I made chicken toast masala, inspired by both shrimp toast and chicken tikka masala. Very inventive. Thank you, Chef. It's the longest walk. What you're eating today is a Swiss chard gratin. I used the cream of mushroom soup. Thank you. You're very welcome. Made a grilled cheese panzanella with a tomato soup vinaigrette. What's waiting for someone to give grilled cheese? <laughs> that sounds so good, though. Maria, 
What did you make for us? A cabbage salad with a poached egg. I did a vinaigrette actually with the tomato soup. Yeah, that was the first meal I cooked for my wife when we started dating. It obviously worked. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> for you a uh, grilled filet with roasted delicata chanterelles and a little mushroom cream pan sauce. For me, the memory is mushrooms. Like right now, I'd be in the forest with my dad foraging chanterelles. Thank you. Thank you. OK, this table makes me realize how messy I am. <laughs> Chefs, I thought there was a high level of execution with many of your dishes. But there were a few that were less successful. Nelson. I felt like the fish was overcooked. The cod was hammered. Shoda, there was a layer of liquid over the top that never really got incorporated with the dish. Kiki, your Swiss chard gratin, the Swiss chard never really cooked out. This really felt just like a warm dressed salad. But now for some good news. Gabe, there was a depth of flavor that made this dish feel longer than 30 minute cook time, and kudos to that. Thank you. Sarah, your smoked mushroom stroganoff, it brought me to Thanksgiving dinner with my mother. I really love that you made your own spatzel with 30 minutes. And Chris, your use of the tomato soup in the vinaigrette, I thought was a really fun twist and play on grilled cheese and tomato soup. Thank you. But there can only be one winner, so Dale? The chef today who won gave us a dish that was imaginative, modern, and that chef is Chris. Not only have you won immunity, you've won yourself $10,000 from our friends at Campbell's. It feels great. I mean, being at the bottom so many times, I needed this. Cheers.